Hello, I'm Safira Lou and welcome to my channel. Hello guys and welcome to my piece for the YouTube Artist Collective. For those who don't know, the YouTube Artist Collective is a group of illustrators who are, all have YouTube channels and every few months we do a theme um, surrounding around something that has been chosen by the public. And this time we have done the theme Spirit Animals with a focus on endangered or critically endangered species. Um, it's something that we all very much believe in. If you wish to see other people in the collective and what they have produced, there will be a full links in the description so you can check out their channel and what they have produced. Um, I highly suggest checking out what everyone has done. Everyone has done such amazing work for this uh, piece and for all previous pieces, so please check them out. So I'm just looking over a few bits of the equipment before I start talking about the piece. I use De La Rani Aquafine paper as well as my Pentel white gel markers uh, which are the Unisigna round, um, like ones and then I've got my Polychromos pencils, I use my Windsor and Newton Cotman half pan palette and my Pentel aqua brushes as well as various other watercolour brushes that I had lying around. Um, this piece took about 12 hours i think in total it was quite this is probably one of the longest i've spent on a piece in quite a while and if you are interested in purchasing prints of the piece uh there is a link to my red bubble down below in which you can see if you wanted to print, uh, get prints or if you wanted to get any of various merch it is on my red bubble as well as a link to the original because as a part of the collective we all sell our originals now, half of the proceeds of anything that will be sold as a part of this collective piece, I will be do donating to the amazing uh, Bee Conservation Trust, um, which is the Bumblebee Conservation Trust, which I will leave a link to down below in case you are interested in checking that out. So this theme um, was a way for us to kind of raise awareness for endangered or extinct species which people may not be aware of. Um, I know there is lots of animal activists videos etc etc um, but it's something that we are all very passionate about so this theme was kind of nice for us to just kind of play a part in our in our life so to speak. <laughs> With me, I chose the Rusty Patched Bumblebee. Uh, we kind of debated on what we were all doing and we all chose an animal and I got to choose the Rusty Patched Bumblebee. Now, uh, the Rusty Patched Bumblebee was recently declared um, critically endangered, which means it's in danger of becoming extinct, which is quite sad because bumblebees play such a huge role in our livelihoods. That it's important for us as humans to be able to try and do what we can to conserve as much wildlife as possible. And this isn't to say that any other animal is in any way, shape, or any inferior. The reason why I chose the bumblebee is the this in particular the rusty patch bumblebee is because I feel like bee conservation is such a huge part in, in making sure that our plants and our the food is sustainable and because insects play such a huge part in our food growth and in plant growth and there is so much that they do to help bring along the, the produce that it's something that we as humans should really take note in. Now I'm not going to go on a massive rant <laughs> or a massive like you know save the animal speech or anything like that. I believe as humans um, and as people, we should be able to help those that are less fortunate, or be especially considering you know part of this could be and is our fault, including the loss of habitat and the you know the loss of their food because we have taken it away. So I'm just not going to go too far into it because I don't want to start on a rant or anything like that. I just. I think it's very important if you are interested in learning more about the charity as I've said I've left the link down below. So let me talk about this piece. So with this piece uh, you may have seen some of this on my Instagram live stream. 
For those who don't know, I live stream every Saturday and Sunday on Instagram. It's just something very laid back. Uh, we just sit together, draw together, and we just have a lot of fun really. And that's what I want my live streams to be. Um, I am looking at doing live streams maybe on Twitch and on YouTube just so then we can all sit together and all draw together and have a wonderful time. But my sort of idea for this piece was almost like um, almost like a Mother Earth but if she was a bee. So I tried to cr uh, capture like a very ethereal look to this just because I wanted something a little bit different. I didn't just want it to be the animal. I wanted the piece to look very serene, but at the same time, I wanted it to look quite sad. By having the focus on the bees around her and having this sort of a feral like, quality to the piece, it just gives makes everything feel softer. That's why I chose to outline in pencils. By me choosing to outline in pencil, it kind of creates this very soft, sort of feel to the illustration and these are just polychromos pencils there's nothing massive about them it's just it's a nicer way if you wanted to create a softer look within your line work try and use a very um like muted tone color or try you know try and use it with pencil so this entire piece was done with polychromos pencils and with watercolors with a mix of um gel pen thrown in there a little bit of white highlights as well as my fine tech palette just thrown in just to create a little bit of gold texture now I am getting better with watercolors but I'm not the best with watercolors and I kind of wanted to use this piece to practice that and I'm really glad I chose it I just wanted everything to look soft and look very you know tranquil and almost like a illustration from a storybook i wanted to feel as if like it's taken a moment just like like something out of a fantasy novel and that's the kind of feel i wanted for this illustration i didn't want to make it hit home too hard um because that's not really my style if i'm gonna do something that is about animal preservation or something that has a message i just want it to be fantasy based because that's kind of how i am i love drawing fantasy illustrations and that's what i do um i just think it's super duper important as an illustrator and as artists for us to be able to put a message to our drawings but that doesn't mean that the message always has to be so somber even when you are delivering a somber message yes i believe in bee preservation yes i believe in animal preservation but at the same time i didn't want this piece to be too harsh and i just wanted a really gentle message about it the re like she's got the queen bee on her chest and her hands are almost like very lightly as if she's you know just like protecting it and like the plants around her with the honeycomb dress and all the plants in her hair and the bees fly around her I wanted her to almost be a protector and that's how I feel that we should be when it comes to animal preservation I feel like we should be helping as much as we can to preserve wildlife obviously you know unfortunately animals do become extinct and whether or not that's down to evolution or whether or not it's down to us <laughs> um having sorry just to interrupt here look at this little monkey always coming to have a little bit of fun when i'm drawing that lovely little animal there <laughs> i always feel that it's very important even when you are delivering quite a somber message to not I, I understand that people like to be harsh with it because it's the harsh realities but I don't I much prefer to deliver a softer message and that's kind of what I wanted to do with my piece so if you are coming here from any of the other YouTube artist collective pieces hello and welcome to my channel <laughs> uh, I just really am proud of this piece it took such a long time to do and it was really nice to have people watching while I was streaming and just have a really nice time with it. I mean it's 
nice to be able to share a journey along with people and that's what I feel like this YouTube channel is, a way to show a journey and have a journey with everyone else. So the Rusty Patch Bumblebee is obviously something that I chose and the charity that I have chosen is a UK based uh, website which is the Bumblebees Conservation Trust and this is because it's fairly local to me but if you are interested in learning more about bumblebee conservation in particular the honey patched bumblebee I will leave links down below so that you can check them out if you want to um, as I said all of us in the YouTube Artists Collective have all chosen different animals because we all wanted something a little bit different that we could raise awareness of. Please, please, if you can, check out everyone's amazing work. Everyone has done such a phenomenal job and I'm so excited to watch the videos and see how they progress in them because I'm really, really lucky to be a part of this collective and just to see all the amazing artwork that comes out of there. If you are not a part of the collective and you wish to draw a piece that's absolutely fine if you want to tag us in it you know feel free to I, I don't mind I can't imagine anybody else would mind either like it's really good for us to be able to use the collective to raise awareness for, for any charities that we can and I'm really excited to see what we can do for next collective um and I wonder what you guys would suggest we do next. I would really, really like to see what you guys would suggest next. I'm really, really grateful um, that we were able to use this just to raise awareness of whatever we can, really. So this part, I am almost like building layers with polychromas. I took it as far as I could with watercolours and I just felt that I wasn't getting the pigment that I needed. By using the polychromous pencils, I was able to build more texture into the piece and just make it look a little bit more interesting. Um, I'm really glad that I chose the colour scheme that I did because originally I was going to do her with a very dark skin tone to go with the, like, to pop against the yellow dress. But because when I was colouring it in, um, when I was on Instagram, people suggested that I did brown hair and I only have like a very small handful uh, shades of brown in my uh, watercolour palette and when I was doing colour swatch tests, when I was trying to make the skin much darker, I just couldn't get the contrast I wanted for it to be against the hair because I wanted the hair to look very honey coloured uh, and the skin much darker so in the end I ended up going with a pale skin tone if I was to redo this piece again I definitely would go with a much darker skin tone and a possibly a more honey coloured hair just so that we could get a beautiful contrast against the um, honey bodice with this honey hair I just think that it would just bring out the piece much more and unfortunately by the time I'd gotten to that point I'd already gone too far into the piece and it wouldn't have been worth me redoing it again so that that's what I would have done if I could have done it again in the future um, I really enjoyed drawing this piece and I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video I know it's a little bit longer than normal it's just there was so much footage I just couldn't cut it down any longer I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video and enjoyed my part of being the in the collective. Um, like I said, I left a link to all the amazing people that are a part of the collective down below. If you have any questions about the charity or if you want to learn a bit, a little bit more, there is links that I will leave not only in the description but I'll also put it in the commentary as well, like in the comments down below. I'll make sure that there is a link to the Bumblebee Conservations because as I said, I do believe it is highly important. Here is the Fine Tech palette. This palette is just absolutely gorgeous. I will leave a link to where I got it from down below in the description so you can totally check it out if you are interested in it. It just leaves this gorgeous gold pigment and I decided to use it almost as if it was like pollen. So it's like the little hints of gold shimmering throughout the piece. If you are interested in Purchasing's original, the original is available on my store Envy, in, which is linked down below. This is uh, a piece that I am very much proud of and half of the money made from this piece will be put into the Bee Conservation Trust charity. 
um, if you are interested in, in purchasing a print or any other apparel there will be a link to my Redbubble as well where you can check it out there and as well half the proceeds will also be going to the Bumblebee Conservation. Thank you guys so much for watching, I really hope you've enjoyed this piece and I hope you check out all the other people in the part of the, part of the collective. Thank you so much for watching, maybe subscribe if you want to, leave a comment down below. But as always folks, stay creative.